All right, so today we have a very special guest, uh, Remus Bradumas, uh, who is uh, connected to Exculture in multiple ways. He has participated in Exculture as a student, as a coach, as a regional executive uh, representative of the Exculture kids. And uh, he also has all kinds of other interesting things going on in his life outside Exculture. And so today we wanted to learn a little bit more about his background, his career, and maybe get some of his tips uh, for our students who seek an exciting and successful career. So, Aurimus, can you tell us a little bit more about when you participated in Exculture and uh, how did it go for you? Yeah, of course. Uh, well, first of all, very good evening in, 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 my, in my place where I am at the moment right now. Which is a very uh, good question. Where are you exactly? Yes, at the moment I am on the very board of Czech Republic and Germany. Uh -huh. is a little bit, it's one hour drive from Prague west to Germany. So it's a really tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny town, uh, which I'm really glad that I have a proper internet connection and I'm able here to speak with you guys. Right. So very good okay. evening and very good hi, hello to you, Professor Vess, and probably to all the others who is watching this video. So, so a little bit on your cultural background then. So you're a Lithuanian, right? Yes. And you work for a Swiss company. That's correct. That takes you all around the European continent, right? And currently you're somewhere in the Czech Republic. Well, that's correct. Uh -huh. that's okay. correct. <laughs> I am from Lithuania, a tiny country in Baltic region, and I am working in a Swiss company, and I am representing the Swiss products in motorsport department which means that I am active in the all kinds of racetracks around the world, basically, basically of course, Europe. Uh, so my job is to just travel around, uh, meet the technical directors, sports directors of the racetracks, and, uh, well, just to present the product we are selling. And the product is the safety solutions, is the uh, debris fences, barriers, uh, in, as I said, in all kinds of racetracks. So you basically work for a company that builds Formula One racetracks, or at least yeah. the safety equipment. That's correct. One of the, we're one of the supplier, which obviously safety is one of the most important suppliers. So we were in a close relation with uh, FIA, which is International uh, Automotive Federation. And we have a solution uh, which is highly used in the grid one facilities, which means the Formula One event. Yesterday I was in Hungary. It was a, a, a Hungaroring. There is a widely known uh, track for Formula One event. And uh, well, today I was in Brno. This is also Czech Republic uh, circuit, which is also very known for MotoGP. Valentino Rossi or something like that may, may ring any bells for those who is interested in a motorsport or autosport. So, yeah. How many Formula One racetracks are there in Europe? It's around the world. Oh, I, I, I have to count how many it's in. But in, are we talking like 5, 10, 100? One, no, no, no. The Formula One has 21 events per year. So uh -huh. that means that includes all the world. It's, it's Americas, it's uh, uh -huh. Dubai, Singapore, Bahrain, and, and all the other crap. In, in Europe, it's supposed to be like, yeah, 10 or something. Yeah, it's around 10. Uh -huh. We're talking about grade one facilities, which means that you have the fantastic uh, facilities. It's a really grade one circuit, which has all the kind of necessary equipment. But uh, to, to, to be clear, there is a lot of, a lot of uh, other circuits or, 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 or tracks around Europe, which helps a lot of other events. Uh -huh. Now, the most important question that we have for you today is how did you find the school job with Formula One? And maybe you can share your experience and perhaps maybe some tips for our students who would like to have a similar experience or jobs in similarly cool uh, industries. You're not an engineer, are you? Why well, I am definitely not an engineer. Right. So yeah. how did you land a job with a company that builds or builds equipment for the Formula One racetracks? <laughs> this is a really good question, right? So to begin with, first of all, I would start that this job, uh, it, only four guys all over the world do that. So there is one guy who is responsible <laughs> for both Americas. So there's one guy in China who is basically responsible for China because China is a huge market. There's a lot of small racetracks there and there's a lot of job to do there. 
and there's the two guys in Europe. So the, the main guy from Switzerland who is just the, uh, the team leader of ours, and uh, the next guy you are looking at me right now. So, oh. so good. only four in the world. Not to brag, but <laughs> all right. So how did you find this job? How one to work yeah, with yeah. Formula One? I actually, I actually, all, all, to, to, to tell the people the story is like, for me from Lithuania, for such a tiny country to be one of four is kind of big, big deal, isn't it? Well, to be honest, I have found this job or all the way around, they found me on LinkedIn. LinkedIn. And I, on LinkedIn, absolutely LinkedIn. Uh, of course, I had some some people who, who was known with me and known with the company I'm working for. And they recommend me in a, some some chit chat chit chat uh, you know emails. So they just put my name for the company and say, yeah, you should look at this guy. Maybe he's he has some necessary experience that you have, what you're looking for. So they looked after my LinkedIn. Uh, next day they called me, and week after I am in Zurich in Switzerland and signing the contract. So, so you didn't even apply, right? So they looked at your profile. Somebody endorsed you. That's so the correct. whole thing starts, I assume, you know, if students wanted to use social media and LinkedIn in particular to find jobs, I guess they would start with creating a profile, right? This is really big. And I have to encourage all of you guys that you're supposed to have LinkedIn in the pro, like Facebook and all the uh, social media, it's for the chit chats. It's, it's right. really just, for indoor, so just entertain yourself. LinkedIn is not like that. Uh, I was really suspicious. I was not carrying it so, so, so truly how it's supposed to be. But uh, lately, I think it's like for come on two years, I am keeping my LinkedIn up to date. And I am putting there all my new stuff I did in my last. For example, Xculture. Once I graduate Xculture, I put it there. I just made a copy. Right. I, I, I added like an attachment. I put the certificate. I made a just the three, four sentences, participation, international, just some keywords also it's working. And uh, well, I believe that uh, it shows you the very first impression. When you open, when you, when you meet someone in front of the door, yeah, it's like three, four seconds to do the impressions. So LinkedIn does the same. Uh, it is a lot of active headhunters who is active in LinkedIn and only in LinkedIn. And to impress them, you just need your, your profile to be precisely or correctly correctly filled isn't it so uh i talked with with my now my boss now nowadays with this is just an uh, interest so uh he said that could you please send me your curriculum vitae and i just don't have one i really don't i said just you saw me on linkedin there is a, every line was written there i will get you the same one in a prop in a, in a piece of paper it just it's just it is it's just the way it is and uh well, he, he also was surprised about that, that you don't have one, but as, as, as far as you keep it up to date, actually you don't need a hard copy of one. So can you explain to our students who may not have experience with LinkedIn what exactly it does? Because visually it looks almost like Facebook, right? But it has a different purpose and people yeah. go there not to talk about politics or post pictures of cats and dogs. It's something yeah. different, right? Yeah, that is correct. Actually, to be honest, in my opinion, uh, LinkedIn is not the place to come, go there and to talk someone about something. Anyway, it can be economy, it can be some really uh, useful working experience sharing stuff, but it's not the way I think it is. It's supposed to be. Uh, well, the main idea for you guys is to have the, uh, how to say it, um interactive curriculum vitae you don't have to say you don't have to send it now you don't have to apply sometimes your name on the some label on some somewhere appears your name and uh people who's looking for someone definitely definitely will go google about you what about google it means that one of the favorites is linkedin facebook they're working with these ceo words you know that so I will, I'm pretty sure that if you, if you Google your name, if you put your name on Google, it will definitely pops up. LinkedIn pops up in top three ways. Right. Do you have, do you have, are you on the computer now? Can you share and show us your LinkedIn? I think you can click on share screen. And I will you can show us your profile and just show us 
what it looks like so that people can emulate it and perhaps try to create something similar yeah, yeah, yeah. so Absolutely. they can re repeat your success yeah. story. You have a button there that says share screen and it yes, should yes, allow, yes. yeah. Now I am trying to do, yeah. Yeah, okay, that's what we see. So can you show us what you have there? So that's your page, right? Yeah, so this is my, just, just, just my, my page. This is, this is my profile. So it has so, your professionally taken picture. Um, yeah, that is correct. Yes, it's correct. But I'm pretty sure that you have to, okay, they have to, oh, it's just showing that I have to, to, to do something. But it's, yeah, yeah. anyway, you understand that the right. picture, yes, it's not supposed to be with a cat or with a dog or from right, body right, right. With, a, with a beer. Yeah, it's supposed to be like, it can be selfies. I have a lot of people, friends in my account where they have selfies, but it's supposed to be a proper selfie, you know. Right, or, or a professional, nice, proper headshot. If, if it is possible, it's always beneficial. It is possible to have a, a professional photo, of course. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's just the name, the name, your full name, and then you just write your subject. Okay, nowadays it's International Sales Manager at Geobrook. So, because my company, Geobrook, it's in LinkedIn, of course, at itself. And when you pop up your position, they gave you this. So the company is creating this position and they gave you to, 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 to make yourself international sales manager at Geobro. If not, it doesn't matter. You can just write manager, bartender. It really doesn't matter. It's just the, the fact that you want to bring the message. And then, 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 yeah, then it's basically, again, the same. If there is a company registered in, registered in uh, LinkedIn, so they will find one there. If not, no problem. This is my nationality. And this is uh, the friends amount I have. Yeah, so yeah. all the time is 50, 500 plus. It can be 5,000 still, it will be 500 plus. So the important message is this, is this field. So that is your kind of self-introduction? This, that's correct. This is your self-introduction. You can, you can show it as you see, I have four, three sentences. I don't think that it's necessary to, to, to do, to, to write something, an essay. It's not an essay. It's supposed to be brief and, and bring the message. So yeah, I just tried that I had a skilled ma manager for more than 10 years experience. Uh, skills mostly expressed by networking, negotiations, strong commercial, commercial value chain understanding. Something you want to bring your, your what, what are you good at? And why are people supposed to look at you? Right. Uh, well, this is just the data. This and then, the yes, and then basically just your sort of like resume, right? Well, I'm pretty sure that you're not allowed to do it, nothing here because they just just show you that someone, 66 people look at me in a couple of time. Uh, six, I was appeared in 28 search appearances, which is also shown that, uh, as I told in the very beginning, Headhunters is really active in that field. So I appeared in... 28 uh, searches. Well, I can find the, the period, but uh, well, it will be not more than one month. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, this is my activity. So I just like something or I just uh, write something. It is not really also really. Uh, right, right, right. And then the rest uh, I assume is just basically your experience and all that work, right? Yeah, and then the very, very, very important thing is here the experience field. So now you have to understand that they show the, all the positions you had in your life. So as, I, as you see, guys, I worked in a lot of companies. Actually, in interesting that Access was one of the Exculture partners some years ago. Access was one of, and yeah, and I was, I was yeah, the part of that. While I was working there, I was, I was implementing Access to be one of the important because uh, me, myself, I was uh, active in the Scandinavian region, right, right. and then we was just boosting, expanding the business. So that was also the part. And yeah, so as you see, uh, I have more than 10 years experience. So obviously I have a lot of, uh, a lot of work changed in that period. If we're talking about yeah. students. Now that, they, that looks familiar, one of those. Yeah, 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 the one lower. Yeah, that looks very yes, familiar. That's correct, as I told you that. <laughs> yeah, this is my master. I did my master after six years of my bachelor. So I am not so young that I looked at. Uh, well, uh, yeah, but during my master, I did uh, Xculture. And now we can see when it was the place. Oh, it's too small, even I cannot see it. Oh. Yeah, no, no, we, we see it well, so that definitely looks like a culture, yeah.
Okay, but that, <laughs> that definitely looks like it's called X culture. Yeah. So, so you just put everything you have there, but tell me, so, okay, I understood you have there your profile, you have your experience. Uh, do you ever engage in discussions on LinkedIn or do you just post all that stuff and wait? Well, to be, to, to, to be honest, I did not. And I am not really active in this uh, discussions or, or some, something I need to say. Uh, well, basically this, this profile works as just really just as my resume. And right. I, I'm all the time trying to keep it up to date, as I told at the very beginning, that people are able to, uh, well, understand my uh, experience or, or, or try to, to, to approach me with some questions I am able to answer. Right, right, right. So, so LinkedIn is not really for socializing. It's more for, uh, it's almost like an online resume. Well, I, I, to be honest, it's not about socializing at all, right. at all. And I, I rarely saw some people who just trying to put some, you know, phrases of lives and how to be successful and all these, I don't know, mainstream uh, the topics. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of, a lot of remarks and a lot of answers to that. Please stop it and go to social media to do that. This right. is my correct place to do that yeah makes perfect sense wow interesting and so in your case you had your profile and then somebody just endorsed you and somebody found your profile and found it interesting they called you interview you and you get the job absolutely I was participating so it does happen then it does happen then okay it was four, yeah it was four guys international international contest if we can say like that and uh, obviously well yeah, to, to be honest, to be honest, I, I don't know the, the way I, I won, why I won that, but uh, probably my character, myself, is really open-minded and, and I can easily approach people and basically in this job is necessary just to do this. Uh, is it something yeah. happening? Yeah, okay. no, yeah, I think we switched back to the, to the video. So not uh, okay. okay, but basically I just showed, showed everything. Uh, well, the profile is supposed to be really good explained about experience and really right. good explained about your uh, certificates. Really, and it seems that. like it works internationally because you were in Lithuania, but the company that approached you is from Switzerland, right? Yeah, correct. So, so they, they do a global search, at least within the European Union. Well, to be honest, I think that internet it's, all the world go, goes globalization. It, it does it, its job, you know. So uh, it, to be honest, to, uh, for Switzerland, Swiss company to hire someone from uh, well, Eastern, Northern Europe is uh, much more. It's beneficial, of course. You know, the salary, the sal minimum salary in, in in Switzerland and minimum salary in Lithuania right. is way different. But uh, to be honest, I am really glad that I have an opportunity to be there because. I feel myself that uh, I am wise enough, experienced enough to be the part, to stand as, as the part of a Swiss company and represent it all over the Europe. And since the job requires you to travel to different countries anyway, there would be no benefit for you to be in Switzerland anyway, because you don't spend that much time there anyway, right? Absolutely, absolutely. It's home, it's home office anyway, I, while I'm approaching the, the, the hotels. I have a lot of job to do on my computers to, to, to put some remarks and to do some quotes on, on, on my meetings. So everybody will uh, were able to see that. And the CRM system is also working very well in Switzerland. So yeah, basically nowadays we don't need an office, definitely. Yeah. So then that. the biggest tip is make sure to put your ex-culture certificate on LinkedIn. <laughs> I'm not lying, I'm not lying. This is true. Well, it and is an international experience. You're right. So, and not yes. many candidates had it. Yes. Make yeah. It. But yeah, basically, to bring up the message, so all of you guys, uh, if you consider to uh, to have LinkedIn or not to have, so please do that. This please is do. definitely not. I am one of that example which can say that. Uh, well, if I do not have any LinkedIn profile to talk with someone have. in person or on phone, it would be so hard to to bring the message that you're good enough to be hired. Right, right, makes perfect sense. Well, that's a very inspiring story and very good tips. Thank you so much for sharing your profile. And uh, yeah, I hope your experience will help our students to, to do well. 
Thank you very much. It was a real pleasure to, for your invitation to that one. And please contact me if necessary. We had my LinkedIn, guys. If right. some question appears, please contact me. I'm open all the time. Very good. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Have a nice day, guys.